Hi everybody and welcome to Traveling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome today to Moscow region. Now I've got a pretty interesting video for you. I thought I'd show you around my local typical Russian supermarket. It's right behind me. We're going to have a brief walk around and we're going to head on inside. The store we're going to go and visit is right in front of us here. It's called Fasol. Now the actual literal translation from Russian to English, it translate as the word beans. I'm not sure where that reference comes from at all. Now it's actually on the lower ground floor of this apartment building. And this is actually where I live in this building. Now I'm up on level 13 and it's actually a 14 story building. It was actually built about 10 years ago. So it's relatively new for this area where I am. And I've lived here for pretty close to the 10 years, right about nine and a half years is when I first came to Russia. And I've lived in this building ever since. And this is my local supermarket. Just looking around, you can see there's been a lot of snow here in Moscow, particularly in the last week. We've had lots of snow days. And this would be the walk that I take to the local bus stop to get the bus into Moscow. There's actually a few more apartment buildings very close by. There is actually two more supermarkets in the next two buildings. And this is the road leading around to the entrance on where I live. You can see all the snow isn't going anywhere. Today is actually Wednesday afternoon. It's currently 2 p.m. Now, I just chose to come and film this video in the afternoon. Now, I don't expect to see anybody in the store, maybe one shopper, maybe two. And we're going to literally go on inside. Now, the reason why I chose this video is because a lot of people keep commenting about me filming videos in Moscow and the fact that the shops in Moscow are better stocked. There's more things in them. The prices might be better and I want to show you my typical supermarket. Now they do sometimes have promotions on the board here. At the moment they've just got a few random posters and we need to go down these steps and we'll get on inside. A lot of the apartment buildings have uh, businesses on the lower ground floor to utilize the space of the building better rather than putting them up on level one. Just gotta be careful going down these steps. Now, the actual store itself is open every day from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Now, this is one of the guys that works here, giving me a bit of a wave. Now, I thought we'd just try and do an unedited walk around of my local typical supermarket. Now I am repeating that a few times. I think it might help out with the algorithm of the video. I'm not too sure. Now when you first walk in, they actually have a spot here to put your bag. So if you brought something from somewhere else, you can put them in here. It's not a very busy store this, so it's not normal that you do that. You can actually leave them right on the side here where the baskets are. The traditional steel baskets, it's a bit of a throwback. There is actually some shopping trolleys in here. It's not going to get that busy. They need more than a few of them, but we'll actually come back around to the register afterwards. Here is the gentleman that works here. Now he's actually worked here for the entire 10 years that I've been coming to this store. And it's a very nice, friendly uh, group of people that work here, depending on what day you come, of course. Now the store itself is not a full-fledged supermarket like some of the other videos I've made, but it literally does have everything you need. You know, literally from cleaning items to personal items to any kind of food. First thing we see here is actually baby products and baby food. And then it goes on over to different canned meats, mostly fish or pork, and then Probably the least uh, known thing in Russia is how many canned items there are. And it's really only corn, peas, and beans, and sometimes olives. I think we're there a little bit further down. And then there's also 
Uh, lots of pickled vegetables here as well. Now, of course, I'm basically showing you what I see in the store. You can also see them on the video as well yourself. But it's very nicely stocked with one of anything. So there's a safe bet when you walk in here, you can find literally any single item that you need. You can see at the bottom, oils, vinegars, salt, flour, and then coming around here to different pastas and different rice and lots of different things if you want to do maybe for breakfast some porridge and oats and then there is actually two sides to the uh, vegetable and fruit section so this back side is all the veggies so the very traditional things like potatoes carrots onions these are very very typical in russia now, the one thing I want to point out is eggs. Now, this store only has two types of eggs because that's really all you need. They come in a pack of 10, which is 109 rubles. Now, the interesting thing here is that these are actually from a different supermarket chain, which is very interesting. OK is a Russian branded supermarket chain. And then they come also in a pack of 20. So in Russia, eggs come in tens and twenties. So 109 rubles is about a dollar 30 US dollars for a pack of 10. How does that compare to where you live? It'd be interesting to know what you're paying where you live in the world. Of course, a pack of 10 or 12 may fluctuate the price a little bit. Now here's the vegetable section. So this store isn't expected to have supermarket quantities of things what they typically get is uh, one case delivery of things and then a couple of days from now they'll get more things delivered so you can see here mandarins which are the seasonal fruit for winter time here all those bananas apples there's also kiwis and then over on this side they've got some different cabbage and there's even some peppers and garlic right there and then they also have a refrigerated area with a few vegetables as well. Pretty much the two most known in Russia are tomatoes and cucumbers. They're always in any store you go to. And even on the top here, they've got persimmons and more kiwis. And then just looking around here, you can see on this left-hand side is the refrigerated area. There's also a lady that uh, looks after this section if you want some items. Now for their meats and poultry, this is by the kilo or by 100 grams, depending on what you want. But again, you can walk in, find one of anything. My wife would often come in here and just get a few chicken wings or chicken legs. A lot of times people just shop for today or tomorrow. They don't necessarily come and shop here for a whole week of shopping. And that's more than enough. This wall here has got all the different uh, sachets if you want to do cooking, like different spices or different things that you can put into a food. Not sure what they call them. <laughs> spices, I think that's the best thing they come in these paper sachets. Now, there is actually also some frozen fish here. Not too much, but enough of the essential things that everybody likes. And then the Next refrigerated area is all of the deli items. Again, this is by weight, so you can just get 100 grams, 300 grams, whatever you like. They'll basically cut it and portion it for you. It's also a cheaper way to buy uh, food, because if you don't want the whole packaging of something, there's about 20 different types of cheese here. There's also some pickled vegetables as well. Again, this store won't have large amounts on display because it's really a close to home store where people that would live in the immediate few buildings would come shopping to. Here on the right hand side is different mayonnaise. <laughs> Plenty of choices of mayonnaise in this store. On the bottom there is long life milk. So if you want 
milk that doesn't have to refrigerate it. They've got it. There's also some coconut milk there and different types of uh, long life creams, I think, or I'm not too sure. And then there's another refrigerated area here with this fridge where the motor's just turned on right as we're filming. This has all the normal refrigerated items, so butter, yogurts, there's also drinkable yogurts up there. And then the normal uh, milks and more yogurts. And then if you want some sliced ham, there's some choices. There's also some pastries here as well. Now, of course, I'm doing this narrated, but you could literally watch this without me talking, I think. And a lot of things, you know, uh, speak for themselves. There's a nice selection of cakes and a lot of the kind of more uh, biscuit and sweet snacks. And actually this whole shelf is snacks. I didn't realize they had so many in here. Now I come in here quite a lot, but I normally just come in with, with what I need in my head. I won't just come in for a wander around. This is their bakery section. So all these breads would come in daily and generally every morning at some point before the shop opens. They do also have some social bread here, which is made to be lower priced. So 53 rubles, so just about 60 cents. This larger kind of circular one here, 83 rubles, so right about a dollar. That's quite a bit of a large loaf of bread that you can slice yourself. Actually on the bottom there is flour and some biscuits. This is one of my mum's favorites, Belvita biscuits. She loves these. And then over here we've got different teas and coffees. So again, if you're comparing this to the bigger hypermarkets and traditional supermarkets, if we're gonna call it that, this won't have that kind of uh, choices, but you can walk in here and find 20 different types of teas, yeah, there's 10 different types of coffee. There's even four different types of sugar. So there is more than enough items. And this is essentially the whole store. Now this is actually called a supermarket and I will always call it that. A lot of people maybe consider this a mini mart, but actually the pricing is such that it's the price of a normal supermarket. So I don't necessarily have to go, you know, 30 minutes away to the nearest big supermarket or hypermarket. I can walk in here and know that the prices within a few rubles are the same as they would be at any normal supermarket or hypermarket. Now that kind of proves that with the eggs right there at 109 rubles, which is pretty much right on the price. You're going to find them everywhere. Actually, some of the supermarkets have them 120 rubles and a little bit higher. And this is a close to home store. I've got to walk only about 30 steps from the exit of my building to come to this shop. This is the personal care item. And then there's also cleaning products. And then there's also pet food as well. So there's literally everything you need for daily life living in Moscow region. Now, the thing is, when I do this kind of a video, it in a way debunks the myth that, you know, go to somewhere more regional, show me somewhere not in the center of Moscow, and you know, how well this store is stocked, and how many choices you've got. And this is a few steps from my building exit this is my normal cola that I'm buying now. It's called Chernogolovka. They've got a few different types right here. Now this store has, you know, just a small selection of drinks. There's Lipton iced teas. I think a lot of people outside Russia would know this brand very well. And even 10 different types of water. If you want a few choices. Now this particular store doesn't really have a alcohol section. They never have in all the years. 
it seems to be getting less and less every time I come to visit it. Now the thing with that is I can walk another 50 steps and I've got an alcohol shop in the same building. And if you'd like to see a tour of that, let me know in the comments and I can certainly show you a tour of my Russian typical alcohol store, which is about 70 st uh, steps from where I live. Coming around to the register here, you can see lots of snacks and treats. And then usually on the counter here, they've got some sort of packaged item, like item of the day. And how funny is it they've got pineapples when it's snowing outside. There's also some nice packaged nuts here as well. And then just all of the normal candy and chocolate. And they've even got some different coffees back there as well. Chewing gum, a little bit of everything in the back. They do also sell tobacco in this store. You can see just behind the register there, they've got a curtain that hides it because that's the law in Russia. They can't display tobacco products, which is not a problem. You know, it's how it should be everywhere in the world. And over here, there's a couple of uh, freezers with a little bit more frozen stuff. There's actually some frozen chips, which I don't think I've seen them in here before. And then frozen ice creams. Do you have to say the word frozen at the beginning? I don't think so. Check that out. Snickers ice cream. Oh, very nice. And instead of Maxi Bon, it's now called Maxi Duo. If you know this ice cream at all. There's also potato chips. As I make my way out of the store, I thought I'd just point out here how this store is stocked. Now these are actually franchise owned stores and the company that supplies all the food is called Metro. And Metro is a very big cash and carry supermarket chain in Russia. I think you'd almost consider them as hypermarkets. I've actually got a video of me visiting one in Moscow might be worth checking out and they supply all of the food that this store would order on a daily basis. The staff in there would actually place orders daily and then a truck would deliver them at some point uh, in the early morning or late evening for each day's trade. I really did intend this video to be nice and short and sweet and as few edits as possible. I thought it was quite important to come and make a video at my typical Russian supermarket and show you where I can shop, what I can buy in my local store. Of course, my apartment building is right here. So I just need to take the elevator to get home. And then the walk to and from my door to the supermarket is literally a couple of minutes. And this is a little bit the point of when I show other supermarket videos, the amount of choices people have in Russia and Within a one kilometer radius of where I'm standing, there is seven supermarkets that I can go to. So I've got six more that I can visit in less than a 10 minute walk from where I'm standing right here, filming the ending of this video. And there's no need for me to go to a hypermarket in Moscow and buy things when I can buy things just as cheap in my local typical supermarket. How nice are these Christmas trees out the front of my building? These have been growing for quite a lot of years and nobody's ever took them down or moved them. And I just like how it makes it sort of feel so Christmassy, especially with the snow on the ground and that cold weather that makes it feel like Christmas time. This is the alcohol shop that I talked about. It's called Krasnabile or red and white store. If you want to see a walk around of that, let me know. That's my nearest alcohol store, beer store, snack store. And then keep in mind, I live just here. So this is the same building. And if I can't find it in Fasol, I'm pretty sure I can find it in Krasnabile right here. I just had to stop between takes there because I met a channel subscriber who lives right here in the same building as me here in my town. I'll put that photo up for you right now. That was so fun. He actually also recognized me from a old video that I did here in the town when I helped clear the snow with the local administration. 
and he was like thanking me for that and that was a little while ago that, that happened but it's so nice to meet a channel subscriber that lives in my building now if you want to become a subscriber click the subscribe button maybe you'll see me somewhere walking in moscow or moscow region making a video if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to show your appreciation for the videos post a comment let me know what you think of this typical Russian supermarket and then how it compares to where you live and what sort of variety you've got in the local store maybe the price of eggs that's a very big trending topic at the moment I see on YouTube and on the different news sources let me know what you think do you're paying about a dollar for a carton of eggs in the country where you live please let me know how that uh, price is in your city <laughs> sorry I'm so happy from meeting a subscriber and it was just such a nice interaction that we had all right if you want to follow me on telegram there'll be a telegram link right here I've got a telegram channel with nearly 2,000 subscribers I post lots of photos daily about my whereabouts and where I might be or what's happening today and if you want to see an old video maybe something a little bit older that you've not seen on the channel before I'll put a link to that right here you can click that right away and stay on the channel and watch something new bye everybody